कृपया ध्यान दीजिए द लैंग्वेज यूज ऑन द पॉडकास्ट मे नॉट बी फिट फॉर कंजम्पन वी वॉन्ट यू ट्रेड केयरफुली बट लिसन यार डोंट बी सो कंजर्वेटिव This may be my last podcast. I just have to tell you, uh, not my last podcast, but my last podcast in this studio, as in physically coming to the studio. And when I tell you why, you'll know I'm not joking. It really makes sense, and you'll cry. You may hug me, Navin. I'm sure you'll hug me. Oh, no, Amit, Amit, you'll hug me because you you'll understand. Your empathy will be better on this one. I feel. Uh, no disrespect, Navin. Today yeah. I filled the diesel in my car on my way here. Ninety nine rupees sixteen paisa. And I, I, I cried. I got out of the car. I was weeping. The guy, the petrol guy, was weeping. Attendant, he was all thinking, "Boss, I'm not good future. Nahi hai. Aap log ke liye nahi hai. Hamare liye nahi hai." I don't know when this is going to end, bro. But I can't come all the way to car and pay this kind of money for diesel. I mean, I just, I, if it turns hundred, I made up my mind. I'm staying at home. I just don't leave the house. Whatever we do, we do from home. That's yeah. it. It's over. I pay rent. <laughs> you yeah. pay you pay rent i also i think i pay rent i'm not sure i pay. <laughs> I, I, i pay quite a bit of rent for this studio premises oh you mean this studio right but yeah. what do we do about this uh, i mean five can i tell you the truth in the last 6 days now of course you may hear this recording sadly 20 years later that's when we'll be great and famous not now um but 6 days in a row five or 6 days in a row they've upped the uh, diesel price, yeah. petrol price yeah. that is not funny That's, that's just mean. It, I don't understand what's the point of controlled pricing if you cannot control the pricing at all. <laughs> yeah, I mean, exactly. It's controlled pricing. It's not a free market. It is there is some kind of governmental formula being applied. Of to course. This. So then, what is controlled pricing? It's not controlled pricing. You should at least be kind of consistent for like two weeks, a month. Yeah. You know, a Crazy week. inflation. Just yeah. yeah and just, and it, the, and it makes the no sense. Layers of like you know expensiveness that comes down to everything, yeah. right? Correct. Like your your food is going expensive. The, the domino effect, so yeah, to speak. Of course. Oil yeah. Is, uh, oil is going on. Uh, oil has gone under a hundred dollars a barrel. So I mean, like, there's no fucking logic to this shit, I mean, right? I mean, like, no, it's basically the. You you are right in complaining about petrol prices. You are not wrong about that. You're wrong in saying that you'll not come to the studio because of that. But you're not right. <laughs> uh, you're not wrong about oh, the yeah. petrol prices. It's ludicrous no. that when petrol prices are dropped by, uh, sorry, when oil crude oil prices are dropped by more than thirty percent, we're still seeing petrol. In the I rates. spoke to my friend Imran, Imran Khan, Pakistan PM, mm. and he told me that it's about bayalis or pachas or something like that mm. per liter there. It's ridiculously different. It's okay. almost the same, and it's really cheap there. Well, so I mean, it's a taxation in India which uh, is out of control. Yep. So I'm just saying this is the government's job, right? So, uh, Sometimes you come to the party and say, boss. let me help you you know it is a bit like a handout i accepted but what about let me help you so we'll cut down we are paying barasha tax and central tax yeah so that's what double, double tax is yeah. can you give me something here would you rather have your taxation out of control or your country out of control like pakistan does right now and that, that's actually bad, subject yeah. number 1 <laughs> topic number 1 each waqt on the show 4 <laughs> <Four laughs> minutes <laughs> in 4 minutes in i'm hitting a topic see this is what happens when i host instead of market but this was the first topic that i did want but to talk about the only about. reason you don't replace uh, yourself with uh, with uh, antriksh is because you, uh, he's cheap Right, uh, so it brings us back to the philosophy <laughs> of this entire show. Is the diesel of the show much cheaper? Yeah, the old diesel. Yeah. No, but I do want to talk about uh, Imran Khan. Uh, vote of no confidence was uh, put to measure in Parliament yesterday. Huh. Uh, there will be a vote day after tomorrow on the thirty first. Was he able to stall it? Uh, no, he was not. They, they pushed they, they it passed by it a day. The, no, so the, the speaker day. apparently is on his side. But the the speaker uh, also is English speaking, so okay. there are two of them. You know, okay. <laughs> they have a separate one of the parliament. Yeah. But yeah. it it's really interesting how this whole thing. I've just, I've just set it up a little bit, and I want to get what you guys thought, right? So basically, this vote of no confidence has to do with uh, Imran Khan's Cold War with the current army chief. It mostly Bajwa. has to do with the uh, the appointment of the ISI chief, right? Yeah. Uh, who is going to be the person who gets to appoint that Bajwa person? Bajwa wanted to so and so person, and Imran yeah. Khan wanted to keep the person who was yeah. there because of and man. And this story. So I mean, like, I went down a rabbit hole on Sunday before I knew I was doing this. Right? <laughs> I went Stupid down. Told he's Pakistani. <laughs> okay. So Imran Khan's wife. Okay. Uh, the, the one who's into meddling into all the occult, the occultish, occultish yeah, yeah, wife. Yeah, correct. Yeah, right. Yeah. So she is. Busha. Uh-huh. I think her name is. Uh, I have written the George name. George Busha. I think it's Bushra. Bushra. Bushra Khan. Bushra Khan. Bushra. Bushra. Not yeah. bad, bro. Not yeah. bad for no man. Bad. Yeah. But so basically, she is. Uh, so this guy who is currently the ISI chief. Mm. is in uh, league with her and her group of sufi mystics Correct. right mm. and so imran khan wants to keep this person in power because he was instrumental in hey, finding him i'm happy with the sufi mystic than the alternative I, uh, well mystic, no but sorry. no 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 yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. the sufi mystics that in this case are not are uh, like you know uh, benign yeah, yeah. yeah. The, 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 the sufi Khwaja mystics Khwaja here are the guys who killed uh, that uh, that uh, the punjab government to, that was just one, that was one bodyguard 
who did it. No, but it's part of own. the same movement. It's part of the no, Sufi no, mysticism that is coming from this particular... That, that guy, uh, alleged form. blasphemy by... Uh, Dude, I read about this shit for two hours that night, yeah. that day. It was yeah, uh, yeah. like, I just kept going deeper and deeper and deeper <laughs> okay, into this stuff, right? Uh, but what I miss Silvery. I can always tell Silvery you're talking rubbish. Yeah. And Silvery never even argues. Like he, some, yeah, like, he loses interest in the topic himself. Then maybe I am yeah. wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Immediately you have to dig your hole and stand by it for hours. No, he dug the rabbit hole. So it really makes sense. That yeah. rabbit hole, I tell yeah. you. Yeah. Not, not a rabbit in sight, thanks to the petrol <laughs> prices. No. They fled first. No, yeah. but, uh, but I mean, I, I find this whole thing insane. So, so a question so for, finish questions this, for finish, you. Finish your points. I interrupted you. You were saying that uh, Bushra and gang right. are on one side with the present incumbent. Correct, of the ISI. Yeah. Imran, uh, so the current uh, army general, uh, Bajwa, army chief, yeah. Bajwa, he wants somebody else. Imran Khan is fighting over it. And right now, from the beginning. This has been going on from the this first year This has been going office. on since about a yeah. year ago. This, okay. I, this I think, uh, this is uh, November 21 uh, is when this whole thing kind of... Note, 21st uh, November this all... Uh, 2021, 2021 November. 2021 yeah. November. Not, 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 not an exact date uh, more, more like a day right but but I just thought it's, it's crazy like there's this kind of really interesting mix like honestly I read all this shit I'm like I gotta make an I, I, I have to make a uh, I have to make a podcast on the life of Imran Khan no no listen I think it's a very difficult job you have to give him a little bit of credit bro yeah. So he, he has to uh, he's this westernized face and you know his international cricketer and all that and he has to give Everybody a bit of what they want. The liberals he has to give a little bit of what they want. The Kashmir Hawks give a little bit of what they want. But uh, the, the you know I mean it's not uh, the Sufi uh, his wife's side is possibly on a personal level to some yeah. extent, not even so much on yeah. a philosophical level. Well, but he's got to like you know the, keep everybody the, the, happy. There are lots of uh, conversations about how it was a cynical kind of attempt on his side in terms of how to cynical get him. In what way? It, it, it's a way for him to become more uh, to be more in tune with conservative Muslim Islamist kind of doctrine right in perception. that sense that's the yeah the perception right because yeah. he's the also the same dude yeah who's too liberal who uh, from, in was the background in and london yeah, yeah. Playboy and number one all of and, the yeah. the second wife guy accusations are also all out there yeah, right yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah uh so the least man, of which is uh <laughs> drug smoking and young boys no, man uh, that but, was my favorite like, thing yeah. to read because she was so full of like wild but, things know, wild can, things, I, can, I, can, can i can i defend imran khan i'm first a huge fan of his cricket but i'm only saying that you know when things go wrong people you know the mud hits the fan it's not always completely correct but you'll say where there's smoke, there's fire and all that. But I'm a little worried about that. You can destroy a reputation with one sentence. Well, but again, his ex-wife is saying this about him. Would we not take anybody's ex-wife with some degree of credulity? Having the only one being married here, I'm saying if they're angry, they're really angry. They can say they anything. Can, yeah. I mean, look at Will Smith's ex-wife. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, sorry. No, current wife. No, current wife. Just happened. Yeah, just she happened. lets him watch. <laughs> just, just happened. <laughs> By the way, that's his second wife, not his first. Yeah, yeah. He, he has an older son first. also. Yeah, yeah correct. Who yeah. nobody talks about. They yeah. gave the two kids their yeah. crisscrossing names and they're done with. Done, like, you know, done. even they don't want him to remember. <laughs> Oh man, what yeah. a, what a... We'll, we'll come back to that. Sorry. Yeah. No, no. I, so in my mind, this is just I want I, I want your opinion because I think that there are lots of parallels between Pakistan and some other countries, right? In that sense, uh, this kind of mix of like celebrity, occultism, uh, Islamist. Uh, because it's, again, he's very Islamist right. it's, it's in how he's right? which is it's a cocktail it's, which no doctor will give you. It's yeah. a heady it's, mix. It's, <laughs> it's, no, no, it's yeah. just paradoxes. You know how to paradox? I, yeah. I don't know. You go back to Brindan Wale. Go back to all these people. You know, sometimes you don't know how certain forces came together. Mm -hmm. You they say you have a, a common agenda, but they're philo philosophically so different. Look at yeah. Afghanistan. Yeah. You know, and uh, I mean, at some point they're going to just how can they coexist? Yeah. But they then, come together. But then, what is the option? Is but what is yeah. the option for Imran? I, I don't. He's know, not powerful but... enough to just overtake people. Yeah. He's, so, uh, Mihir, know, so uh, Mihir Sharma is a fairly well-known columnist. He writes, I think, right now for NDTV. He has his own blog as well. So he's been talking. Is about Is NDTV this. allowed on this podcast? Because like the government has told us not to mention okay. NDTV. Okay. All right. Uh, we 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 we, we shall persevere. Oh, the Maharashtra government is okay with entity. Okay, okay. so we are, for you guys listening in Mumbai only. Uh, but but he made a point about how Imran Khan's entire, or rather, he wrote a article about this just in the wake of yesterday, right? Imran Khan's entire political success, because mm -hmm. Imran Khan's been in politics for a long time mm -hmm. and has had no success until the last like few one years, seat right? in the last uh, yeah until la and, until the last few years has yeah. had zero success, yeah. right? And the entire reasoning behind how this success occurred mm -hmm. is because of him kind of uh, campaigning as a uh, as an Islamist welfare state. Those are his words, not mine. Yeah. But basically, the idea being that, for example, why is Pakistan oil? Uh, why, why is petrol in Pakistan so cheap? Uh, cheap, as you were yeah, mentioning right now, yeah. because government subsidizing the fuck out of it, right? And I mean, like uh, uh, they no, but I mean, like dude, such a lovely line. I, I've never heard it in India. Government what? subsidizing for middle it? class. <laughs> well, it's okay. only for farmer, and then it never reaches the farmer. Am I right? No, yeah, I mean, it's it, like penalize it, the fuck out of you. Yeah. Don't yeah. say yeah. subsidize and government yeah. in the same sentence. <laughs> well, so it's scary the hell out of me. 
subsidized for the farmer and they subsidized for big business, right? Because that's uh, that's true. That, 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 well, they did. Well, they still I do. They, they, they I mean, call, some corporates are complaining. Last few years, you should read uh, about how the SBI restructuring and repurchase of certain assets is occurring SBI right now. Is going to be a sponsor. Uh, yes, they are. But is this, so this is not about SBI. This is more about uh, uh, Sialkot Bank of India. Something <laughs> from Pakistan. Uh, uh, this is more about our ba- Baba Ramdev and his uh, uh, Patanjali group. If they right? come on board, I'm his fan. Firstly, uh, I am his fan. We come. Let's let's get we're crisscrossing. We'll come back to all these. Okay. Guys. Yeah, because Getting... he's in my one goal aligned. Like he wants to make marijuana legal as well. And like in that regard, way, isn't yeah. he the guy who said I, I can cure quote homosexuality? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm waiting for that pill. I, I want you to try it. Same, and same, yeah. Every day, come and tell us. What, <laughs> cured or not? I show pictures of girls. You tell us what your reaction. I have an entire joke about and, this. Yeah. I know, and we'll call him up and say, bro, it's not happening. I want my money back. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm very worried about some of these things. Can't tell if they're ointments or there's uh, something you have to imbibe. You know, something yeah. is just not clear. So be very careful. Uh, no, let's let's. So how does how is Ram, Ram Dev involved in this? Uh, no, no. So Ram Dev is involved in basically. There's this whole kind of. Uh, they have a company which Ramdev and his partner acquired yeah, from yeah. SBI in distress. And basically, after acquiring it in distress, they are now refinancing it via SBI. Yeah. <laughs> like multiple wow. times. And, and also the point that, that you buy. know that it's a distress sale, <laughs> how you get there. Uh, because a lot of people who want to put their hand up and there's a distress yeah. sale, but they don't know about it. That's almost like a setting that's done in, in circles. Then every barber is a smart business. Yeah, we, no, it's chron- chronic capitalism is that only at the exactly. end of the day. Your yeah, five yeah. people, my five people, we take care of everything. Don't worry about so, it. So uh, coming back to Imran Khan, yeah. if I, if I yeah. may, right? Yeah. Uh, do you believe that this thing is a problem? This kind of heady mix yeah. of various forces playing together and most of them regressive. I just don't yeah. want to pick right. up the paper one day and read something really bad if you know what I mean. Yeah. Like I said, huge fan of the man. And that's what's been there. Historically, no, Pakistan has no, not and, been like and Naveen, Naveen, little ahead. Naveen, yeah. what you did in your past, it's going to affect your future, right? Your Absolutely, personality. Yeah. You've been an alpha cricketer, the top of the line guy who was king of Pakistan yeah. cricket. But yeah. you're suddenly in government and you have no power. You know, it must be driving him nuts because he's not used to, he's used to the guy who points his finger and, uh, you know, Wasim Akram goes quietly to square leg. <laughs> or he's yeah. the guy who enters the cricket field and all Australians are cheering for him. Yeah, you know, he's that yeah, big. Yeah. And, and now suddenly he's redundant in many places. This Bajwa and him, there'll be a whole personality clash which was from the beginning, which is, you know, which is not being sort of separated. So they don't have a clear winner. If anything, it'll be the army. So I just don't want to read something. It is the army. I mean, like yeah. the army wins yeah. in Pakistan no matter what, yeah. right? They have like a very stronghold in general. Yeah. So like, I think no, no was, that, was that a part of, was that intended or unintended? I but in Punjabi general is journal. I sometimes I find myself yeah. I say things and I find no. Oh, in in Punjabi <laughs> general is journal, so we can, we can okay. go right there. Yeah. Uh. Uh, no, I think uh, with this guy, for example, like in India also, like if if Ganguly gets into politics, right? So his past is going to haunt us. For example, Akash and I were only talking about it recently, where Ganguly is going out of his way to cock block everything in the BCCI and like all these dirty politics is playing. Of all the cricketing terms you could have used, <laughs> forward defense, back foot defense, aage aage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, so so, and then we're like, okay, maybe then when all of this happened in the past with Greg Chapel, right? So we were on his side, like we're like, he's our guy. Because he made it a race issue when it's yeah, not. Yeah, exactly. There was exactly. a race issue. It was a personality yeah, so, com- a issue. Yeah. A autocratic uh, coach and people who are not used to listening to anybody. I think so. so in that if you regard, race. Yeah, Imran Khan is also that smart. He's a, he's a wily creature who will actually like he's made his way all the way to the top without like. Baba, but how will no? he? He has to be wily. There's no chance we yeah. got Chalu or Chalak as exactly, we say in our yeah, parlance. Yeah. There's no chance for you in subcontinent. Let's yeah, face it. Okay, yeah, yeah. you can't be straightforward. It's not going to work. But my point is that how how much can he balance? Because this Bajwa, Nazi, they they trying to give an inch, take an inch. This this little romance that's playing out between them over yeah, uh, appointment in of many one. Ways a this is like, no, this yeah. is one appointment. Imagine that's the big one. There are many other things which they don't agree on, which we are not even uh, party to or understand. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We're looking at this from like very far away, and yeah. also in the context of Pakistani people don't want to talk shit about Pakistan to Indian media, right? Yeah. So he's like, he's, like, he's a global face. Now, like when yeah. you're putting him up out there, no, he, he says all the right things. Good. He speaks very good English, exactly, firstly. Yeah, yeah. So he wins people always. He good. doesn't say all the right things. No, he does. He, he acts uh, when he goes to the United Nations, he's on the backwood trying to say, Well, I'm trying to project a better place for people to live in, and no one understands me. You know, yeah. so he's, he's, he's yeah. a little while our guy is still doing that rhetoric, you know. Huh. So we are sounding like battle hardened, yeah. When uh, honestly, we'll they something. were the more battle hardened people in terms yeah. of looking for a fight. But now, look at the fact that that missile went off on its own, yeah, because yeah. Uh, Silvery, like an uh, Silvery, Naveen, and me were in charge. I mean, yeah. <laughs> that, that's the reason. Yeah. And then they didn't retaliate. And he went on record to say, I'm not retaliating. Right. This is, so, you know, I he's making the right sounds for the West sometimes. He is. 
but what does Sometimes. it matter? But again, at the, at the end of the day, he what doesn't is, control anyone. That's he doesn't. The but so the, the thing is that, where, so again, the only, so I mean, like, at least from my perspective, right, the thing that matters over here the most is how does this affect Pakistan, India? Right. I mean, like, because the thing is that we've had a relatively peaceful last okay, five you years. Keep it that way. It's, a, it's low key, but not really peaceful. But I would say this. Um, if Imran comes to Pakistan as a leader and we're not able to work with that, what could we yeah. work with? But, because but, there's nothing better that's going to come. So, but then that's the question, right? That I mean, like, is it from, from an Indian perspective? Is engagement the better uh, route see, to I, how to improve relationships no, see, or is I, isolation I, the better Supposing route? Congress was in power, a non-BJP government was in power, whatever coalition, and a little more uh, uh, left-leaning, if you like, or whatever, I think the overtures would be right. But they still have problems. No, Not, but actually, no, the, you're wrong. Uh, because this is historically established that right-wing governments or more right-wing governments or more left-wing governments are able to take positions which others cannot. If the BJP is able, if the BJP can negotiate with the with Pakistan in a way the Congress cannot, because the second the Congress uh, Congress negotiates with they Pakistan become hard like that, yeah. the BJP is the opposition gets to kind of push hard on what's yeah. happening. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, the basically the more right wing a government, like for example, more progressive policies will generally but, come up under Republican but, governments. I in agree, the US. but the, but the point here is not that. The point here is that uh, the overtures will be correct because everyone will say the right thing yeah. with a slightly more liberal stance from both Imran and let's say Rahul Gandhi, whoever the hell it is. But they'll still have problems because the army will control uh, yeah. everything that he does. So what he says doesn't matter. So it, and we will have our own pushbacks here from BJP or opposition yeah. and from our own military figures. The best chance that India and Pakistan had for some sort of lasting peace was is, Musharraf and Bajpayee. to Bajpai. give Bangladesh full power. No, Musharraf <laughs> and Bajpayee when they had yeah. the peace yeah. talks. Yeah. 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 That was the best chance yeah. that India had. Although there was about this. 10 or 15 days where the world was in more trouble than where they are now with Putin, yep. when Vajpayee was losing his mind completely and he was really unwell. Yep. And yeah. the nuclear reactor was six inches away from him on his main desk in Delhi. <laughs> I'm just telling you, all right? Yeah, and all that was stopping him was a shawl. <laughs> yeah, Joe Biden, I, I, I hate to say it, I'm a little worried about Joe Biden too. I look at his body, his oh, motor yeah, he, skills. He's gone a and, little... And, yeah. <laughs> Did you read about... I mean, uh, the buttons, the, the, the buttons. Case, yeah. There's so, just buttons, you know that, right? Yeah, yeah. You press one green no, button. Two people have to turn the key side. You can't just like press the buttons. Not just one button. <laughs> no, it's it's but, push button because these guys are old, so they made it easy for them. Yeah, yeah. If they're younger, then they give you the key. You, thing. you think Trump didn't just like wander in and just start, try pressing it once to see what happens? Hey, like, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. Trump, yeah. Had, Trump had very small fingers, so it didn't fit on the key. So like we're the okay. entire red thing yeah. takes two of his That's why he was so angry. He was trying to blow up places. <laughs> Nothing was going on. He was really upset. All right, uh, let's uh, pivot a little bit. So, so one second. Yeah. So we've our conclusion as usual. Nothing. We came no, so I, uh, yeah. let, let's contrast. Right. Uh, let's contrast Sri Lanka. Oh, yeah. uh, and what's going on with Sri Lanka? Right? They run out of newsprint. Huh? They run out of newsprint. Out two, of two newspapers right? have shut down. Yeah, yeah. My question is, and I mean no disrespect, is it because they have very long names? <laughs> that could be one how part of it. do you mean no okay. disrespect? How? <laughs> how? How is love, it possible? Okay, may I say this? I love Sri Lanka. Uh, you guys been to Sri Lanka? I, yeah. It's a lovely place. I've heard it's it's like amazing. India with manners and charm. I was it's going lovely. to go September of 2020. Ah. My partner and I were going to celebrate our two-year anniversary. Why do you call him by his name? Why partner all the time? Abhi, like Abhi, yeah. Deal. Abhi, like, no, his name is Abhi. People know him. Like, ah, Abhijit. Abhishek. Abhishek. But that's, he doesn't like that the That sounds name. a little sexual. <laughs> Abhishek, Abhi dance. If you don't mind, Abhi Abhishek. move around. <laughs> I heard uh, Shaker Suman's coming back, by the way, guys, uh, with a okay. new show. Okay. It's going to be in progress. We are a third world country, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry, so what are we talking about? No, no we are talking about Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. Right? Yeah. So, uh, thought, right? I mean, like, uh, two countries, both in India's neighborhood. Right. Both countries which have that essentially become China client oh, states. Oh, boy, yeah. Yeah. In some way or the no, other. No, no, right? not some way. You can say blatantly now. Yeah. There's no question. No. Well, no, so I mean, like now this new government in Sri Lanka is trying to pull back. From How will they pull back? Bit. They owe their money. Well, so they're, they're trying bought. to renegotiate. They're, they're borrowing money India from also. India. Yeah. They're borrowing a second billion dollars from India after borrowing one billion. You yeah. can give one billion dollars away and one... we still charge me 99 bucks for diesel. <laughs> Mr. Doctor, who's, who's a. <laughs> no, no, so, uh, uh, honestly, I mean, like uh, that particular thing, I think India should help and go above and beyond. That's every country's ah, like. I come first. I'm the citizen. No. When you're That's this is taking into account that there's like an extra surplus okay. to help. No, sorry, bye guys from the podcast because I can't come here. Not no, no, no. My yes. government wants to give money Not to Sri Lanka, so I can go there and have a nice holiday. <laughs> yeah, that's there, it. Listen, the fact is that Sri Lanka, uh, there, there, there was a amazing line in in the West Wing a few years ago. On one Sri Lanka. of my favorite shows. So I was on Sri Lanka. It was about Mexico and US in this context. When your neighbor's house is on fire, you don't negotiate for the hose, and that's what Sri Lanka is right now. Sri Lanka is on fire very badly. Yeah. In, in a way that it is, uh, you you have to help because dude you don't have Sri Lanka what happens 
they are closer ha huh? china's closer uh, china's closer the whole country the, the anarchy that's already being uh, the anarchy that sri lanka barely Managed I don't even want to say avoid it because Taj Samudra will become the Taj Jinjang, right? <laughs> and then suddenly you know it's all over you. Next thing you know, there's an island connecting yeah, Tamil yeah. Nadu properly. Yeah. Yeah. So it won't be called Tamil Nadu. His names will start changing as yeah, it comes yeah, closer and yeah, closer. Yeah. yeah. No, but they like they did some shit like a few years ago, right? To kind of help Ooh, with Sri, Sri Lanka, Lanka yeah. to uh, to kind of solve their terrorist issues, right? They did some yeah. shit. I Between mean, like, you and me, it was very brutal what they it did. It was amazing. We've argued this. I think we've argued this before, but if that General Fonseca. and the way they just destroyed kill everything on property they found a 20 25 square kilometer area and let's just face it i mean i'm talking children animals everything okay there yeah. was slaughter and there, there's enough uh, amnesty in those yeah, animosity yeah. built up over years also now, you can argue the other point and say how to end it you have to be cruel to be kind to do all this but my god there, there was slaughter there's no there was, question that yeah, tamil people insane. were slaughtered there's no question same no, thing no, like no, even you, today like escobar ka case also people the locals will argue that you know, he was brutally killed and everything uh, when he was yeah. doing good for society some, something similar yeah so mosar is also famous but, but they have so much more, hate even, and vengeance and they're targeting all of that what india did in punjab is considered along the same line yeah right so this is this is not exactly But, but you mow down, and you you this ca- the casualties that that are uh, left and right. What is what is the word? Uh, um, you know the casualties that you don't account for. Oh, uh, the uh, damn it, fuck! Now yeah, you know I'm struggling. <laughs> the what? <laughs> the casualties. You know, the the people who die ca- when war happens. The, there uh, are the innocents who get. What do you mean casualty of war? Ca- no, so it's not casualty no, no. of war. It, collateral, it damage. collateral, collateral damage. Collateral damage. <laughs> yeah, oh Silvery, where are you? It's, it's a movie. Also. Yeah. We need you. The word of the day. I took it out, and oh now my, my guy is struggling. Yeah, my genius from damage. Cambridge. Yeah, yeah, there's no yeah. way that I, I did it. Today's day. Like, oh my god, collateral damage. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I can't believe that that's a pun. Yeah, yeah but wow. casualty of war is also commonly used for people who just casualties of war are generally people who are fighting the wars. Collateral damage is the people who are just like there. Well, you guys argue grammar later in the bathroom when you're together and holding hands or anything else. In the, the broken, meantime, yeah. let's just get back to the main thing, which is the Fonseca, the brutality of what they did. You can argue both sides of the story. Now, in But, context so, to uh, question, uh, so my question, my, so my question is, uh, is using China as a kind of like you know becoming a client state of China. Is this like kind of and so again? I'm not going to say that this is natural because these are individual instances that kind of did and they jump but, on you know, when, Yeah, but at the same time, the it's fact is easy for us to talk about this from outside. But when you look at it when you're a government and you you begin just like anything else in yeah. life, you take ten bucks from your neighbor, right? <laughs> it doesn't start with a, a million dollars, right? It starts yeah. with ten bucks of sugar. And yeah. slowly, slowly, these things happen. So, and initially, maybe the neighbor is being really nice and benevolent yeah. about it, and saying, "I'm writing off this, that, and the other." And suddenly, they're building airports and roads and bridges, mm-hmm. yeah. and suddenly, you, you own nothing. You're zero. I uh, believe me. I, I, I'm, I'm just like it, it's. I, I don't know what to make of this because again, it's uh, the neighbors who own everything. Yes, but it's not like you know people were looking to throw massive amounts of money. Well, it's a movement for us, you know, from the southeast and from the northwest. If they take over, because let's face, Pakistan is also almost mm-hmm. like a vassal state of theirs. It's a little scary. It is very scary. Who, who can we have on our side? How about Russia, guys? Well, so <laughs> they uh, need friends. So <laughs> that, yeah. that is the question, right? Because now India is also pissing off its "quote unquote" quad, right? Yeah. I mean, Japan, Australia, and the US are, are we running out of excuses about... for not calling it out. Um, yeah. It's it's a Will Smith analogy yeah. again. If we're not, ah, oh, both of them are. You know, they they can work it out. <laughs> Denzel got up and held them and said, "Boys, come on, let's go back to the hood. Let's yeah. not fight." Yeah. No, but, but but there is a degree of anger about India. Yeah. The way they are. Not degree uh, of anger. There's a lot of anger, yeah. I think. And we're being called all kinds of names because, like you say, in any warlike situation, there is no sense of neutrality. You either for or against. You cannot sit on the fence. I'm on India side. I'll just say that. No, no, that. that <laughs> but but you're yes. in, you're no, India okay. side there, but not on my side about the diesel. The one billion going to Sri Lanka. That's the same concept. It's where not. we come. The janta comes first. So look after the janta first. Uh, so, janta ka dekhbal karne ke baad. Yes, yeah, so like well, it's half the price in Pakistan. I'm going there <laughs> for uh, the diesel. No, so the, 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 if I could live in Lahore with the, uh, <laughs> you know. The, the zamindar lifestyle it really yeah. means like any rich indian there's no difference i'm in lahore there, there's lahore. there's quite yeah. a bit of difference between living in pakistan and living in not india not if you're rich even if you're extraordinarily rich oh, come on they uh, have a great they, life they they have a good life i'm sure they do but there is an extraordinary difference between living in an islamic first country versus living in a still secular in name country There's an enormous difference between these yeah, two. Yeah. Things. Which country are you talking about? I, well, I mean, we're secular in name. I said secular in name, right? No, no. At least, at least I, the fig leaf is applied no, no, listen, more often than not. We are still a democracy, broken, stilted, burnt, hurt, whatever. We still have. There's no question about that. We have to be grateful for that, no doubt. And there's always hope in India. 
I mean, that's the certain parts of the world where hope seems to have gone. That's yeah. really scary. Yeah, exactly. No, but uh, what, what do you think about this? Like India's uh, reaction to basically Ukraine. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm sure you've spoken about it. I haven't been on in a while, so I won't sure. Yeah, and you don't even listen to the show in spite of being a proprietor. <laughs> Dude, you do five hours a week. I know. I, I can't blame you. Nobody does. No, no one listens <laughs> to us. There's not a single person left. No, I, but, yeah. no, but uh, coming back to the whole thing, uh, you know... If it's again Machiavellian sort of situation to be in as a politician, you want to look at uh, your interests immediately and you feel that the interests are better served with staying happy with Russia so that, you know, things don't spiral because they give us a lot of stuff. There's a lot of commerce, for oil, etc, etc. But in the longer run, if this war drags out, we start losing first. It's just like status and credibility. And then these guys don't trust you anymore. And, where yeah, we'll and, come and up people to position, remember that for years later. Of like, course they'll remember that the last for years word. because you didn't call a spade a spade. Yeah. It, so they, from their point of view, it's covered <coughs> to behavior by us more than anything else. In India's defense, honestly, like, you know, the way Ukrainian people treated the brown people on the borders, I think <laughs> there, well, there has to be like some factor of that also included because there was like a lot of racism for no reason, yeah. you know, like, and even like the Indian embassy was doing their best on the Poland side. Bro, Russia invading Ukraine is going to with the racism issue on the border. No, Russia, so because they were stopping everybody at the border, right? You know that we come to yeah. the, uh, politically, where, what is your position about annexing or invading? That's wrong, that, of course. That, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so it's, that's, it's a very, that's something we've not been clear we about. That back in the 40s. And he's, been back talking, back in the... he's been talking to Putin, but the problem is Putin doesn't speak Hindi or Gujarati. And, uh, there's <laughs> a bit of a, you know, our star was good, so he's I, I, got I, nothing in the middle. Putin, to let's face it, has not been listening to anyone for 20, 25 years. Yeah. yeah. Right? I mean, his table, if you see has the shots. Steaming him up to this moment. It's like the last supper. He's at one end of the table because of COVID and all. People are far away. They can't even hear each other. It's a modern day czar, you know. Absolutely. So he's playing with his phone and the other guy is presenting something about how we should bring peace. and. Yeah. Trailer was like building him up, like he's riding a bear and he's like a macho alpha image. Yeah. So all these like you know these reels and shots where so like you know those are carefully thought out. Yeah, no. but like they're all fueling that that Russian thing. Because Russia has been for the longest time the laughing stock of like Western uh, movies mm. or like they're always like the bad guys yeah. Western and yeah. like Sergei. The accent, the accent and is Anton. always the villains. Accent. Yeah. So it's the easiest villains yeah. to have in yeah. any American exactly. movie and, because yeah. you're not and every, racist everybody when called you make Boris villains, is bad. Right? Yeah, it's Except either Germans or yeah. it went yeah. from the Germans to the, to the Russian. It has to be what East European or it has to be Russian because anything else is racist. Yeah. You can't yeah. be South American villains. You can't yeah. be Indian villains. You can't be Muslim villains. Yeah, All of that becomes racist. So you have to be East European or Russian. I like Indian Russian. villains. I feel more comfortable. <laughs> I feel, oh, thank God. Desi to hai, to we are safe. Yeah, when, when Amrish Puri played in uh, and Desi Indira said, Jones. It tends, to be more, exactly, it tends to be more jugad than uh, actual killing and all. You know, generally, we always go with that first. Well, Let's completely molest well, you or financially. Or you can eat monkey brains like in India. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, nice little way to come yeah, in open. But that was not Indians. written by Indians. If Indians wrote it, there wouldn't uh, have been that kind of... Uh, that, they would just fair. stolen the entire tem temple for some reason. That's fair. Oh, that's happened before. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, should we take a break and when so we... Far a, well, it's 28 minutes in, dude. No, that's uh, still when you would never take such a break. Okay. Let's uh, so, let's take before... the break and let's talk a little bit more about a Russian story when we come back. Uh, there is more You're Russian like an animal today, dude. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, man. Imran, Imran, <laughs> Russia, Russia. It's just boom, boom. Amit has only heard the feedback, not the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Amit is going to now just tell the sponsors that he has to be on the show. Otherwise, there's no way the show goes on. Here. Yeah, the IQ level just went so up. Yeah. I'm pretty sure in the comments, people are like, not one sex story from Naveen. We, 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 I mean, we've lost everyone in Pakistan and Sri Lanka and yeah. China, yeah. which is a decent market for us. Yeah. Yeah. Mainlanders. Well, he's yeah. hoping to get the quad. <laughs> Aussies are going to be listening to us. And the Japanese Japs. people. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. 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 And they are the sponsors. Japs are giving us all the sponsors. Yes, they do. So let's take a quick break. And uh, when we come back, we're going to discover why Russia is red. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's been another great week on the IVM Podcast Network. On Voices for Water, Karthik introduces us to Debashish Mukherjee, the additional secretary for the Department of Water Resources. He asks her about the Indian government's approach to participatory water management. On The Habit Coach, Ashton speaks to Priyanka Acharya, the host of our newest show, Ek Chuski Finance. She explains how women can start developing micro habits to manage their finances. On Smarter with Sid, Siddharth lists down three lessons we can learn from American comedian Andrew Schultz. On Cyrus Says, Cock and Bull, Cyrus, Ayushi, Antriksh and I get together. We discuss how every single news channel claims to be number one. And on Puliyabazi, Pranay and Saurabh contemplate whether economic growth contributes to prosperity in light of India being ranked 136th on the World Happiness Index. 
Do follow us on social media. We're IVM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And remember, if you're enjoying this show or any of our other shows for that matter, please do tell a friend. And don't forget to rate us on any of the platforms you're listening to us on. Also remember, we're on YouTube. You can check us out on ivmpodcast.com slash YouTube and get a list of all the YouTube channels we have active at this point. I'd also like to make a quick note that we're doing a small listener survey and it would really help us if you could fill that out. You can go to ivmpodcast.com slash survey. And finally, we'd like to thank our sponsors this week, SBI Life Insurance and India Water Portal. Thank you so much for making this possible. And the interesting thing is that Imran sort of brought in reverse swing in cricket. Okay. Where you rub one side of the ball yeah. and then the ball swings because the other side remains... Uh, Was that hit. the stuff where... I, I remember reading in some biography somewhere that Imran Khan had like... Scuffing some... up the ball, one yeah. side only. Yeah. Well, he's not the proponent who started it, but he was one of the big guys who pushed it. Okay. Sarfraz Nawaz and a few English seamers are... Given credit, right. there, but there was a, there were a few others before Imran Khan, right? Who was the, uh, is the famous was that the famous yeah, Pakistani? Slightly, uh, older than him. Who, who was the one who was his mentor? Was that Sarfraz? Well, I don't see mentor, but he's the one with the reverse swing. Interesting okay. English conditions. They all play county cricket. My mm. point being, so what what that means is that the ball swings the other way mm. uh, against the shine of the ball. Okay, so you don't show show the shine of the ball to the uh, batsman, so he can't tell mm. with the same outside right. grip. It will go in. Correct. Right. Okay. So the point of that matter is that in politics, can you use reverse swing? I mean, can you actually, you know, <laughs> you can so shine one you're side. Aiming, you're aiming for this, and then it goes there. So he's aiming for, you know, pleasing the the army, but he's actually trying to get right. a little bit more, whatever. Yeah. It's much more tough to balance. It is. Yeah. No, but that analogy is in the parliament by side. We, 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 <laughs> we tried. We realize it's a futile attempt. Pakistan defeats cricket. In yeah. A sense. Although, thank God they had their first home series. Well, not first, but their first big high-profile home series, and nobody got hurt. Yeah, after Australia a very long time. In, yeah. And, I, I, can I say one thing in defense of Pakistan? They're the nicest people when it comes to hospitality. I'm you sure. You just never forget that. Yeah. They're nicest. I have roomed with uh, them in America and you will not put your hand in your pocket. They will not allow it. They, they're unbelievably generous. And I, I no disrespect to people of fairer skin and this, that and the other, but none of them are as generous. They're all good looking also. I can't believe oh, but, 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 both okay. it. Not, not they're anything. all very good looking. <laughs> <looking. laughs> it's true. That's it, that's it. That chai wala became We've modern. done enough. And we chai wala we don't have to molest people chai. across the border. <laughs> we can just end by saying we can live in peace, boss. Because they're generous. Uh, but did anybody watch I, the movie I, 83? It's, it's on two platforms now. On Hotstar and Netflix. I was surprised Why did it not work, but Amit? They're like, yeah. It didn't work. I think everybody I know seen it loved it. No, no, no. It's very bad, it had, times, it right? had very poor uh, rating. Yeah, of, um, it was supposed to come out in 2020 money. only. But oh, the, really? the, the rating of the movie or the money back that they made was not good. They made no money. Everybody who I spoke to about seeing that That's movie That's why they dumped it on really two good. platforms. Ah, to make did money did back. they go to the theater? No, they, did huh? they go to the theater? Well, but, no, because the theater was a little dicey at that time. Yeah, then huh? now, do you know, once it's on OTT, it's a different yeah, story. But I saw the poster. Yeah, I was very excited about it. Like Dune, right? Which I saw this weekend, which was amazing. Good or bad? One sixth Oscar Awards, yeah. Yeah, amazingly good movie. Uh, but Dune also, it did not make that much money in the yep, theaters yep. initially. It's the fact that it was like, simultaneously released on HBO, HBO Max, Max and people and rallied for it. Got it like that, and that's what. 83 is rated 7.5 on IMDb. That's not bad. That's now. When it first came out, well, it was 5 point something. And okay. it was very badly trashed by critics. 5 point something is Chitran Bhagat's work. <laughs> that's three, yeah, <laughs> that's one of those. That is 5 point something. Yeah. 5 point some, That was one, his first. Yeah. Confusing uh, the audience. <laughs> first book. Three mistakes of my life. First. One at call center. <laughs> He's just playing with numbers. Like yeah. two, two uh, whatever. I like this. His titles are great. Yeah. Then after that, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, to open the book, great, then yeah. it's like... No, that's me. Pani Puri. You jealous mean. <laughs> Pani Puri base. He sells books. But 83 has this one scene where, uh, like, it was the end of the match where like India's winning the match. Uh, somebody calls a younger Sachin and Sachin comes out and he's like, yeah, I'm coming to watch the match and then India wins. So he's like, maybe cricket will yeah. So it's very on the nose, Kabir Singh listen, pandering. You know? That's okay. That's all listen, sentiment, emotion. Sports movies. There are some really good scenes also. Sports like, you know, movies yeah. are always emotionally manipulative. They always are. That's I felt so bad are. I watched Chakdi after that. Because I was like, Chakdi is such a better movie. Sachin well. is so young looking. He played himself as an 11-year-old. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, just Sachin said he won a guy. He's yeah. looking younger now. I think yeah. he's done something with his face. Huh? Was, he's yeah. touched his face. His face is looking younger. The, the cheeks have been pulled in a bit. Or is it just us fatty boys with the fatty cheeks? We tend to look young. Sachin was recently on that Graham something show. No? Graham Norton? No, not Graham Norton. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Aussie guy. The Australian yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, saw yeah, that interview. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, very interesting. Yeah, I, I, I want to watch it. I haven't seen that yeah. yet because that guy actually has... Very interesting. Good, uh, very, and and yeah. in a sense, when they're neutral, people talking also yeah. is better than, you know, the fanfaring. So that's yeah. a little bit I of a problem that happens, it, right, yeah. with this stuff. Uh, so, oh, of course. Yeah. It's a huge problem because you can't yeah. help yourself. The weirdest part of 83 was like, so So uh, Kapil Dev is hitting a six and in the crowd is the real Kapil Dev. He's <laughs> like, like he, yeah, go Kapil, go. I'm like, dude, this is so cringy. I would have loved that. That's I cringy, that. Cyrus. I what 
that thing, great, bro. I think that kind of thing is that fun. works, man. You know, like have you seen Pursuit of Happiness again to to name the infamous Smith? Dubara. So so the last like the guy he plays in the in the movie who's who's doing the whole like you know selling the the scanners to doctors and then struggling with the money and everything. So that guy doesn't walk in the end of the movie. That's the only kind of gratification I'll take in terms of like okay, it's a biopic and we pay homage to this person. Okay. What is this in the audience? Is like ye chak ke chuda do all of that I mean, shit. See it's the, like, the, the idea of eighty three is well made. I think maybe it was the wrong time to air it or whatever. But I think you have to remember that in nineteen eighty three, India where we were as an economy, exactly. uh, historically in cricket, we were nothing. They have a Indira Gandhi scene as well, by the way. I don't know if you know. They all jumped on the bandwagon. They still do. And she like this this World Cup match will solve India's in Hindu Muslim crisis. And I had such a face palm because you know the reality. We lived past it. Exactly well, after eighty three was eighty four Indira Gandhi. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Unnecessary. It's, it's, it's true though. But but, it's tr- <laughs> but hey, look at this Koshi, Kot Kirmani, Bol Kapil. What does yeah. that mean? Hindu Muslim, bye bye, yeah. solved. There you go. But the thing is, the eighty-three, the final match itself was not that thrilling of a match. Like it, at one point, everybody no, no, knew no, India's no, going to no, win. No, no. When Viv Richards was going great, ha, Viv Richards was the only yeah. main hurdle they had. Only in the last, uh, once the fifth wicket fell, once Dujon got out, that's when they really yeah. got. Yeah. So I think finish. in terms of like also making uh, fictional sports movies, they, uh, they have all. Yeah, they didn't have an end which was climactic yeah, because like, they yeah. were dying in the last few. Yeah, minutes. yeah. But so, like. But to you know, beer the lion in its den in England, where all of them trained and played, and their pace was so much Absolutely. better than us. Absolutely, I think it was something special. In For your me, lifetime, uh, watching a I World Cup win is like something. I can't believe. See, yeah. we grew up never thinking we'll beat these guys. West Indies, impossible. Yeah. So for my generation, it was like we couldn't believe. And they even show that everybody's we, face breaks. I hope means what? You were what? Ten years 12. old. Twelve. But but I used to listen to uh, everything on radio yeah, and all that. In fact, right. where Richards was yeah. batting. Who's my favorite? Uh, but eight, everybody played cricket on the streets. The TV went off. He he got out on radio. You know, and I was cheering for him. Sure, but and, and that happened in the in the movie. Also, it happens. Yeah. The broadcast goes down. No, for like it went down. It actually yeah, went yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is <laughs> historical like you say. Love it because because the radio is hitting. He's it's, it's, it's seven boundaries. Uh, Thirty three, thirty eight. Which at that time was really quick, and then boom, suddenly he gets. Yeah, yeah. He misses it's Madan Lal, <laughs> who's not Michael Holding. With due respect, lovely guy and all that hard hard trial. And then Kapil Dev takes this fantastic catch for the time. Now in IPL, you'll see it uh, every five every minutes. Every other day, yeah. Well, yeah. so that uh, that's uh, but, but sets, that's the evolution yeah, of sport. Yeah, that's the pioneer, mm. the most important person for me. You that, know, that, that's he, the like you know, I mean, like there are uh, in 2007 we won the T20 World Cup, in 2011 we won the World Cup again in cricket. I'm saying, and even in baddie tennis, we've uh, improved everywhere. But everywhere. Uh, two gold medals uh, in singles, but uh, in uh, single sports. But the point of the matter is, eighty three helped everything yeah. because we had great self belief. We couldn't believe it. Yeah, Otherwise, we had a sunny yeah. Gavaskar, we had a couple. They were world class and wishy on a good day. I, I, I think great to watch. But that's it. I think there are a lot of historical forces. Eighty three is one of them for sure. The World Cup is definitely it's, one it's of them. It's a symbol. Uh, it, you're right. It's no, not exactly. It's, uh, it's it's more like the butter on top of the toast. Correct. Yeah. Right. The, the, but there are a lot of forces which led to the rise of cricket in India just generally. Right? Rekha. <laughs> it's my favorite. I'm the only favorite from '83. Ah, okay. okay. <laughs> Kisan Jam, like, Lux, Kisan Jam, Lux. Oh, I was the thinking of slightly ads. bigger yeah. picture things like oh, color wait, television, wait, cable wait, television. Wait. It's come to me, the greatest ad of all time. Babu, Bai, Jagjeet, Inda, oh, yeah, BJ. You don't know this one? I was born in the '90s. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you got to you got to saw the ads for the longest time. BJ, I, I now am interested. It, that yeah. was, that was it. it was called BJ. Guys, That's I, why you should love I it. I used to buy ninety percent of my clothes from there. I still buy. I'm, I'm from the BJ. <laughs> I'm from the Rose Rose Nima Rose generation. Wow. That's the that's the ads we grew up. That's so, okay. So uh, classy, huh? I mean, if, <laughs> if I may pull us back, hey, I did the ad. I did one of those ads. Yeah? Then yeah. Nima Rose. No. Uh, uh, Kuch swad Kuch swad is All right. If I can pull us back to the yeah. uh, the following Putin story, the, se- or the <laughs> no, second shit, Russian shit, story. We promised Russia we so much. ten yeah. minutes. Yeah. I don't know exactly. <laughs> okay. So uh, not even nineties now. Yeah. Roman Abramovich, of the course, dude Chelsea, who yeah. owns Chelsea. Well, not not anymore. Attacked. Uh, due, uh, so he was negotiating uh, back channel negotiation with two uh, folks from Ukraine right. for peace. Right. Uh, that meeting was poisoned. What? That meeting was poisoned. Both of the the both the Ukraine both the Ukrainian negotiators and Roman Abramovich, Abramovich uh, the two of them together, uh, all three of them were basically vomiting and were sick. And but he's uh, close to Putin. I don't know what's going on, but maybe this was not authorized. Something These people are pissed, sad. right? Yeah, dude, you, with what's going on with Chelsea and how Chelsea has to operate right now, this guy has yeah. to sell his stake. Well, These people, these oligarchs, are pissed. I mean, they're not happy. The he still sells it. Yeah. it. He still sells it, going rate about 15 20 times what he's paid for it. Huh? Well, that's why that doesn't so matter. I mean, you know, that is old school poisoning lost. techniques. Listen, it's very owning a sports franchise is essentially a billionaire's hobby. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, but let's one second. Let's come back to the poisoning. Yeah. So 
now I don't understand. So he, they were poisoned with the intent to destroy the meeting Nobody as a concept? Knows. Nobody knows. Who? Basically, they're fine. And they didn't Russia's get themselves tested. Operandi. That's the thing, right? Yeah. Russia has done this over and over Shit. again. I just had the coffee here. <laughs> yeah, well, that's not my modus operandi. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Okay. Is this um, the coffee is bad enough to like yeah. take care of it? <laughs> yeah. On a side note, today uh, I bled on the bed sheet and my wife sent a picture if you guys want to see it. I bled would, on the bed sheet? Don't ask from me. Where? That, that's just one ask that question, right? I'm, see, I'm curious now. Like, because I'm going to reach that age at some point. Okay. You only bleed <laughs> from one area. If you bleed from anywhere else, you're injured. That's different. Yeah. Then you go, you go, you've been shot or something. Yeah. Uh, I used okay. to pee my bed till I was eight years old. Can we go back to this, <laughs> this fine podcast and we, we will we'll hold you to that. That's another podcast. Okay. Yeah. But, but I, just, I I find but, this so who, who? No, so nobody knows. It's not the government who. But it must be the government. Who else is doing this? Yeah, that's what. But, so but this Roman pro- speaks for Putin in a in a sense. He's maybe he's the... not, right? Because again, there have got to be divisions, or maybe somebody else. So it's not like Putin. Or he was told not to do it and he still went on with so it. So I, I is Putin more likely he's to be Beckett or is Putin more likely to be someone like that? Or or rather the, the okay, Richard the Eighth, right? Uh, Naveen, are you uh, familiar with uh, Henry the Second Beckett and all that? No. I know Henry the Second, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Will no one rid me of this troublesome priest? Have you heard so he that? Apparently, he doesn't really ask. Oh, him I have heard about that. Yeah, he yeah, doesn't yeah, ask yeah. for him to be killed. He sort of just says it. Yeah, yeah. And then they, they, kill they him. actually go and kill it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Cohorts, and then yeah. so then he's really upset. And whatever, so, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. so he's saying that Putin is sitting there. Is Putin doing a Henry the Second, or is he doing a Cassius? Give, I think he's, yeah. he's very much in control. Putin is not like. That's but, what no, I'm so, but then the no, Putin is not making an offhanded remark like, oh, fuck, this guy sucks or something. And then he's like, oh, it's Kumaru, it's So Kumaru. it's like you go there, yeah. you know, this, this poison 100 ml. Put yeah, it yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. He, yeah. That, that yeah. Yeah. he first uh, checks it on his aunt. Come here. Yeah. Send me the invoice Elka, afterwards. Elka, Elka, have a sip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, it's, it's good, good. Yeah. Good sell, GF. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happens to her. <laughs> go forth and poison him. So are they alive? Uh, they're, all yeah, three like are that. alive. All yeah. three have recovered. Yeah. But they did not submit to a German government requested uh, uh, poison test. Not they did not. Uh, so neither of them, uh, neither of them, acceded to the request. Uh, both of them, uh, all three of them, just left. So nobody knows exactly what happened. But I just find. Well, this... I guess Roman's days as a diplomat are over, yeah, Roman... and never again in the history of history. <laughs> I don't think is Roman he had too peace. much diplomacy built yeah. into him. Yeah. He must be thinking. Uh, Abel was I ere I left Chelsea. Another misquote. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I got one last uh, story and then we can do AMA's you did, You've done this. really well. Silvery, you're not being missed at all. Now yes. Uh, well, I mean, like, I ho- uh, hope he's doing well uh, or his family's doing well. Uh, yeah, that's true. Sorry, Silvery. Hope you're doing well. Yes. Go on. Make uh, me look stupid. Really, uh, well, I... So unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm known as the insensitive Dude, one. I'm, so... I'm the Chris Rock. Okay, man. I'm not the comedian, but you're just leaving yourself open to so many False. jokes when you yeah, say stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then he says I'm not the comedian. So it's humiliation <laughs> on top of comedy. He's hung out with enough I mean, comedy. What Chris Rock did to Will yeah. Smith's wife, nothing. Amit knows how to tag every punchline yeah. now. He's so well. Oh, he's you know how people are latently gay. I mean, you must be knowing this. Yeah, Supposedly, I'm still latently gay. Yeah. You no, know, there are a lot of people who are gay or don't come out of the closet till they die, literally, right? Yeah. So like they're the latent comics or artists. And I've seen that on my MTV tours where they would perform for us in a doctor's college or engineering college. You'd see that they really want that and they're good at it, but they have to keep it inside for the rest of it. So Amit built this whole thing <laughs> so he can release his talent and now he's stuck with the numbers and the all this. I and... don't want to be a comic. Uh-huh. I value yeah. my, like, you know, You look sanity. down on comics. Silvery, don't come back! <laughs> this is a great joke I, idea, those I, I, I tell us. <laughs> Zombies are nothing but latent homosexuals. They're coming out of their grave. That <laughs> 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 closet outcoming movement. Yeah, uh, but when uh, a zombie wants to eat you, he really means it. Yeah, it's yeah, different. It's like head and brains. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. All right. Uh, criminal procedure amendment bill. Oh, Are yeah. you aware of the story at all? I'll just say yes and let Naveen take okay. it. Okay. So, so uh, let me let me <laughs> yeah. read out. It's basically the idea is so I'm going to read out a quote from the Hindu. Uh, this is the bill. Uh, so basically, this is about me- uh, taking records, maintaining records about people who are arrested or adjacent to cases. Don't we detained also? We only do certain things. After it's a you know, mandated you court order. You go to a file, don't you? Once you commit a... Not completely. Not so it, it, uh, only for certain categories of crimes. Uh, fingerprints, palm prints, and footprints, and that's it. And photographs. Pa- photographs footprints? Are- yeah. 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 I mean, how Feet bad size, can the system be? It's like, because, boss, we don't trust the f- handprint. We'll have to see the toes. <laughs> this, is a, this, this is 1920 ka act. And so we're following oh, that yeah. till date. We had no shoes, no. The Come government is looking to... Indians. Uh, yeah. 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 The government is looking to update that act. So the bill seeks to define measurements to include finger impressions, palm print and footprint impressions, photographs, iris and retina scans, 
physical biological samples and the analysis and empowers the NCRB to collect, store, and preserve the record of measurements and for sharing, dissemination, destruction, and disposal of records. It empowers a magistrate. Uh, this is the thing that I find interesting, right? It empowers a magistrate to direct any person to give measurements and also empowers the police officer. Or, these are all measurements. Yeah, no? like Fingerprint, palm print, foot print. They, yeah, they're all your masters, he's coming to check out your chest <laughs> and waist. That's what they're it's basically <laughs> identifying factors, yeah. right? Uh, but basically, the uh, it empowers a magistrate to direct any person to give measurements and also empowers the police or prison officer to take measurements of any person who resists or refuses to give measurements. It's like sadism. Every two minutes, I, I want to check again. <laughs> yeah, go on the record. So it, it's interesting because, again, like, you know, at the, at some level, I'm a privacy advocate, right? I believe yeah. that there should be some degree of privacy here that people have. But at the same time, also, how do you solve crimes if you no, cannot? You, hello, privacy or not, once you commit a crime, you've gone against the state. Yeah. So, the so should these measurements you, you lose take, your privileges? So these measurements, so this is where it's the devil's in the details. And so broadly, we all agree, right? Should the measurements be taken prior to conviction or post conviction? Post conviction. That should be hands down. Because you're innocent yeah. and proven guilty. Okay. It all works. Yeah. So, Theory is all right. yeah. so really simple. Here is the question then. If you're doing it post conviction, Right then, at that point in time, you can or you cannot establish patterns of crime that may have occurred. Let's say Naveen, in the, uh, again, just in using the first this, right? case, let, let, in the very first case, uh, in the second case, since you've been convicted for two years, you're there, right? You're but, on a file. but let's say in you, the first case, you should get all the so, breaks. So, this, this happens a lot in uh, America, right? Uh, Until the 80s. Uh, fingerprints That's are not why it's digitized. called land of the oh. free. <laughs> <laughs> so it, back then they would find fingerprint, like you know, because people would just commit murder and because they're like, who's going to catch us? Yeah. So then, if they had to match a fingerprint, like for example, uh, Richard Ramirez, the the night stalker oh. from LA, uh, he killed a lot of people, left fingerprints, yeah. but they couldn't match it because he had a petty they, crime that they could never make him for. He wasn't right? on, on the file. On the file, yeah. yeah. So then, like in that case, for example, like this guy, all of them start small sometimes, and then they go up to this. Yeah. So in that case, Amit's point is true because no, 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 but, 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 there's a pattern that. But criminals leave behind us. That may be so, but what you're saying is innocent under proven guilty. Yeah. When you do that, correct. you can't make me feel guilty before I got a conviction because it's still in a state of uh, process. Yeah. But the now, process thanks to all these cases now in America, even if you're booked for something, they unless, keep a record of that. Unless you do one thing, they take the, I don't mind it this way, you take all the measurements and then if your conviction is overturned Delete and you win the yeah. case, you, it has to be deleted. Okay. Completely deleted. Uh, that, so, so, that's, all right, so that's one. I've solved your problem. That, that's one of the thorny issues, right? They won't ever do the that. The other, uh, the other issue that comes over here is what kind of crimes are uh, you allowed to take measurements another, for? That's, that's yeah, a very yeah. tough one. Because are you? So let's say because, you're. No, uh, no, one second. Let's be honest about this. For you guys, are you're going to go with murder, arson, rape, molesting? Those things should be the other yeah. question. And those I'm things, I think, currently also th things like going through one ways. You know, mm -hmm. bikers without helmets. What about you know, uh, protests? Your your uh, what if you're VIP arrested movement, for public red light disturbance yeah. for no reason? UAPA happens. I want all these to become yeah. major crimes. Yeah. Public well. public disturbance. What if for Hundred, public disturbance? Oh God. So you should be convicted, and your data yes. should be taken. So is this not a entire? Is this not the easiest recipe for abuse you could possibly imagine? It is, and I that's what don't condemn it. <laughs> <laughs> Planting fingerprints is like the easiest thing. <laughs> I just want to catch those safari suit guys one day, man. I'm just waiting for my terminal illness to be uh, you know, upturned and the doctor giving me the green light for death. And off I go against the safari suits. I'm on every day I'm just gonna attack. What are they done to you? So is there they a... do nothing, they just sit around in cars and wave you away all the time. Uh, have you seen oh, an it increase doesn't... in VIP kind of closures yes. in the last yeah, I... maybe month? Uh, yes, I, I have, and uh, in our area only. Three times I've been stuck at signals for yes. 20 minutes at a time. I'm like, where Nabeen the fuck understand. am I? I'm not in Delhi. Naveen won't understand. You don't live. These guys won't leave. Yeah, I stay at home all day. I they leave should, home in the no, they, they should, Why can't they go to Cyan and do everything from there? <laughs> What's there to do in Cyan? I don't care. Go People to, don't even know. Like, visit have, another area of Mumbai. You tell a rickshaw wala three different names to give you to Cyan. Like Shiv, Cyan, Shiva. Like, then they take you to Cyan. Yeah. Like, you know, that's what, it's the sign of the times. Go to Malad. Go to Burivli East. Go somewhere else. So, why, all this and, for and why so frustrating is for me at least right in the last couple of this twice i've been like the second or third car 
stop from the front. You just so missed the just pre- missed it. So now I'm just having to sit and wait, yeah, and wait, yeah. and wait and wait and wait. And I see the signals changing and I see these fuckers not well, letting anybody go. Well, they shut the signals. Generally, which well, is a sign of the VIP. No, they don't, the, no, no, no. The, the great man is leaving with Sabha now. They don't give about yeah. shutting the signals, yeah, the man. Two mockeries that you open. sit there. Yeah, you sit there yeah. in your in your angle. You, know, you see the signal yeah, yeah. before you, you open. You perfectly, you put it perfectly. You literally sit there and you spew and you You see the counter from 120 going down to zero and starting again at 120. How do you feel? And my diesel is getting eaten. Yeah. You pay money for that petrol yeah. you sit in that AC which you and barely then, get and then Julius Caesar himself you know the great gladiator comes through yeah. oh, nobody knows who it is <laughs> we never know who it is don't know who it is nothing like a one yeah, day in yeah, Bombay yeah. is like you know <laughs> out and about way to feel little you know like yes. how belittling can it be for you thank you this stuff doesn't oh, happen right. in Bombay this shit happens a lot in Delhi this stuff but this shit doesn't no, no, happen no, no. but even if it happens in Delhi you know, I think Amit I was telling this to on the last De- podcast also, they have very good control over yeah. the okay, roads now, now he's gone out of his way let's talk about the cheapness of Delhi to not do all this Okay, yeah. he's really cut it down as much as he could. Of course, sometimes they are helpless because security people say, we are here, this, that, and the other, and they put 20 yeah, cars. And Delhi is also national capital. Yes, so, yes. Have... so that is another story altogether because that's the full fanfare. You have no okay. choice. Yeah. Now, if you let it go for the Prime Minister as the most powerful person Prime in the country, Minister, maybe Home Minister, Home Minister, let it go Supreme out of here. Court Justice. But, Supreme Court Justice. So three. But it's not ending Army at three. Chief. Here it should end at, at the Chief Head Minister. Head of the Raw. <laughs> it, it, it it's when end. it's when the head of the Raw's cousins or daughters visiting from Canada. That's the problem. That's the problem. Yeah. Know? Otherwise, yeah. they're all at home chilling. Yeah, exactly. Drink chai and tea. Finance minister, do you really oh. want your finance minister spending like thirty minutes talking no, traffic? You're, you're, because every decision he makes is hundreds of crores worth. Mumbai after. is definitely abuses beyond the cheapest. Cheapest is. timings I know more or less. Oh. And of course, he's got this great wisdom that I will live in Bandra uh, um, and uh, Dadar, and I will uh, come to <laughs> Malbar Hill and go back. <laughs> when we've given him a nice bungalow, so he can stay. Put. No. Yeah, yeah. But for some reason, I'll go up and down. I still oh. don't know what that reason is. Because that's his close to people, home, yeah. right? It so what's not going anywhere? While you serve as a chief minister, you're supposed to stay here. You should. I agree. I do agree. It just makes life. Or oh, let me move into Varsha. You don't want to use it for five years. Yeah. I like that place. You know, it's free to move nowadays. Huh? The queen. <laughs> she's 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 too. Good. She's too. <laughs> she's, you want to say whatever you want about her. How, how much? Ninety five. How much is she? Ninety six. Ninety six. Batting yeah. still talks clearly. Yeah. Still looks decent. I mean, come on, man. No, I think oh, that's cool. If I was a queen, oof, sorry. I am a queen. <laughs> <laughs> you're not a queen. You just explained the whole thing to us. Which one? You said you, that you, 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 you're the batsman, not the bowler. But you can be a queen in your own way, right? Like a, no, you a can't. fabulous you can't person. No, what the hell? Why? No, queen doesn't have to do with Isn't your... the feminine one the queen? No, it's, it's not a gender appropriate thing. Yeah. Queen then... is like... Like now it's it's a it's a millennial or a Gen Z term on Twitter. Like you know, go off queen, you go queen. Like that's that's the kind of thing. You know, work queen. It's, so the specific yeah. queen in the relationship is not there. No, no, no. That's, that's, was that's that never, ever? There? That's never been the thing. Yeah. It's, it's always been top and bottom. You know, that's the most common. Yeah, it's not a, lingo around. Yeah. What are you talking like an expert for? He's been yeah, in America. Know. He knows yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. America. He's been yeah. Yeah. The homosexual <laughs> almanac is in his house. This is a tech guy who likes murder mysteries. What the hell does he know about the gay culture? Murder, Sorry, gay murder mysteries are amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, know that guy, Luca, Luca guy who used to kill cats and then kill the homosexual. Luca Brasi. No, what? yeah, the 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 cat killer. The cat killer movie. It's a documentary. No, 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 Netflix thingy. Don't fuck fuck with cats. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. okay. He okay. was the first on record uh, grinder oh, date that was okay. online. Richard Ramirez. We were talking about his show, and then we were talking yeah. about this show. I'm way yeah. into true crime for some yeah. reason. Yeah. All it's fun stuff. Yeah. All I love it. I love it. I'm not into true crime. I'm into fictional crime. Fictional. But what's the difference? It's based on one is based on the other. Yeah, but fictional crime is well written and it's fun and stories move and it's propulsive. These guys, some of them look like regular people, behave like regular people. Not everyone is a psychopath from the beginning killing. <laughs> there, there's some of them, you know, just yeah. you can't understand what triggered it off. I, yeah. Some have good parenting, everything, you know. Yeah. It just it's even amazing. that pizza bomber case, right? Where they sent a guy to rob a bank and then put a bomb on his neck. Poor guy just like died because of three manipulative people. <laughs> like, All right. Uh, shall wow, we move to AMS? <laughs> Yeah, each story is more morbid than the last I one. I love them. Let's I like, just stick to the queen explanation. That's yeah, the only that's, that's fun the thing, like, moment I've had. I'm on stage, I'm doing comedy, and then yeah. I go home and I watch yeah, like the most yeah, darkest, yeah, yeah, deepest, yeah. fucked up shit. I love yeah. it. My, my wife says that about the car rides because I like my 50s, 60s music. A lot of it is crooning, you know, like yeah. King Cole, Jim Scatting, Reeves. Yeah. No, no, crooning has a very uh, gentle, sort of mellifluous uh-huh. music. And you know, then suddenly you're, so you're listening. Uh, this is, I'll just hum maybe. My heart is in Rosario under the Argentine sky. And then I go, Big John! You know? <laughs> 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 the music and you. I mean, yeah. does it, I mean what's yeah. going on? They're doing the vibe. That's why. Yeah. Like, the vibe is just that. I, I know exactly so you do your comedy you and then you go home and it's like dark. Really dark. 
yeah so sometimes sometimes i just scream like you know when in the kitchen i'm like you know i hope the neighbors are listening abhi <laughs> because one day i'm going to kill you and they'll know exactly why because when they make a documentary on us they'll have all the pieces together <laughs> but that's great about human beings i love that you, know, yeah. you can't predict sometimes so same yeah. thing coming back to serial killers i find that really fascinating I, yeah you, for sure don't just killers if you look at putin and everything yeah, i have seen well. like worst you know, roommate ever understand who the human have being have is is fascinating the, 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 the netflix uh, the show uh, how to be a uh, despot or how to be a dictator or something you know, like I have that to see it. how to be a dictator yeah. something like they have like a five chapter yeah. thing on yeah. Coldport and they yeah. they they bring the great they bring the greats and yeah. i've seen that hitler they start off with yeah, hitler yeah, of course then they look at the ends ha huh? gaddafi yeah. was killed through the anus okay <laughs> It was horrible. He was, he was uh, yeah. He, they, yeah. They, 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 well, he was, he was yeah. spiked. Yeah, yeah. Spiked towards yeah, the end. Yeah, whatever. And oh fuck! I didn't know. Bro, that. bro, bro. Oh, I mean, Hitler hated shot. him. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know he was hated, but I didn't know that. How to be a tyrant? How to That's be a tyrant? Mussolini gets hung by the. All right, guys. Should we go to AMAs? We're ten fifty-five. The worst one. Ten fifty-five, but I'm here till eleven forty. That's okay, but I have a call at eleven. Okay. At eleven, which I should be there for. Who? Who's on? Who's? Who's the call? I. Who's the call with? I'm not sure. That's one minute gone. <laughs> I, I I feel there's something flawed in the story. He thinks right. there's a lie. No, no. It's I, the VIP. Dude, do you want to see my? No, calendar? I don't want to see your calendar. <laughs> okay. We aren't that intimate. All right. What question, the hell conversation is first that? First question from Chinmaya Mishra. What is your favorite sports movie? Good question. Oh, uh, uh, victory. Uh, Uh, no, that that I really like that football World War Two film. That's uh, victory. Escape, to victory. Nah, escape to victory. Escape to victory. Yeah, yeah. I like Body Line. Longest yard. Longest yard. Both Adam, versions actually. Okay. Longest yard, not bad. Yes. Bert Reynolds and then Adam Sandler. Yeah. yeah. No, Bert Reynolds, the old one. Yeah. <laughs> the Adam Sandler. The Adam. new one has Kelly in it. Oh, really? Give me other yeah. other sports movies. Uh, uh, remember the Titans. Remember the Titans. Uh, the then four best is that is that one with the baseball Sandlot. and lot uh, uh, so my favorite i think without a doubt is moneyball i don't know if that can say that's it's baseball right yeah so it's, it's baseball, baseball but with a lot of maths yeah, yeah but the thing well, is that yeah, they, they, me, for right? us there's no emotive point to it except the human factor because yeah, yeah. we don't have that love for the sports i have no love for i have no love no, for but baseball. that's important i don't i dislike baseball like actively dislike baseball Why? compared to all other it's boring it's like cricket it's uh, <laughs> uh, true and way too many rules for no reason you have to yeah. run more yeah, i have to start a red card yellow card system on the show when people say things wrong we hand out the yellow card we have to yeah, yeah. there has to be some suspension but what what i enjoy about it is basically it reinvents how you play a specific game right so basically baseball used to be played in a particular way and yeah. what they do during the course of this they demonstrate that hey that's not the right way to build a team Yeah, very good. Movie. You should, hey, you if you have Rocky, Rocky, yeah. Rocky. Rocky. Okay, I got Rocky, a list one of, of the greatest scripts of all time, bro. I have a list of thirty greatest uh, sports movies. I'm going to start Champ. from one, two, three. I inside. love Champ. Hey, Did wait, you see Champ? wait, the 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 dog movie. What is that? So, but why is it no? Uh, uh, no, the one with the, the frisbee one. Frisbee dog. There's a multiple sports. There's a basketball movie. Okay, which is the like Black Stallion with the I with the dog movie. with the golden retriever. Have you seen Hoop Dreams? Uh, oh, Yella, old Yella. No, 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 Bingo. Something like that, not bingo bango. Something like that. People in the comments will tell us. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they will. Uh, the dog who does. The Golden River in Mumbai will be called uh, Tommy, Lucky, Biscuit, or Moti. So there's no. <laughs> uh, Rocky is one of the. Airbud, Airbud, Airbud. Of course, I saw that. Oh my god. Uh, Bad News Bears, Raging Bull. Raging Bull. Uh, Bull. Football, wow. football, wow. higher up. Raging Bull. Ben Affleck, like Beckham, of course. Ben Affleck, like Beckham. Jake Lemont, of course. Ben Affleck, like Beckham, next to Raging Bull. Get out of the studio. <laughs> no, I'm oh, saying. How dare you? We're just taking names. It's actually good. Yeah. Yeah. Raging Bull is a. No, 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 no. Oh, Raging Bull is a classic. Not I mean, to yeah. show that Jake so Lemont, Raging Bull, and this is where all are at the same level. This is at his best. Now he's a bit of a caricature of himself. Both of them, Scorsese and him, are at their best. Good fellas, I think. Oh, good fellas. Now I'm coming. I'm having an orgasm. That's not really a sports movie. When we were kings. Coming is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a sports movie, <laughs> especially we think he's funny. Yeah, we think yeah. he's funny. <laughs> Senna, did you guys see? Yeah, Senna, Senna is good. No, uh, uh, or not? Senna, I didn't Senna. Sorry, uh, yeah. it's a documentary. Yeah. It ends badly. I can't so watch. sad. Yeah. Uh, Once I know the ending, Muhammad Ali with the Will Smith. Ali. You know the guy who punches <laughs> people, Willie Smith. Yeah. White man can't jump. That's one of my. I've, I've seen, seen that. I've seen that. I can't remember. Woody, Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson. Yeah. Ah, let's see. What kind of guy? I think. I think. I think Chuck De in Indian context would be my favorite movie because yeah, I went to watch it at 8 p.m. at Fun Republic. Yeah. And no, there was no, a Sardar right. family next Chuck to me yeah. who lost it. Like when the the Argentina match happens and the the Sardar girl beats everybody yeah. up, they were on their seats. Okay. Yeah. And I've never had a vibe like that uh-huh. in the theater where every, after that was Gully Boy when I think there was a gaiety scene where everybody was like, yeah, man. Yeah. Otherwise, theaters pretty much like you know. I, but, and I'll but, get my very good news. The fans are so wild. <laughs> almost won the bronze in the Olympics with the girls team. And yeah. just for a few days, they came alive. I got to tell you, yeah. hockey is actually a far more fascinating game. Everybody was on, yeah. And you really can get into it. And but uh, it's similar. Chuck De and our, our, our girls, all yeah. from you know poorer backgrounds, less privileged. And you one of the girls also from the movie. Uh, the girl who plays Neetha Reddy. 
she's actually a catholic girl called sandria futado okay. uh, and her mom is the one who plays the female she, she doesn't play the female coach but the character was based off of her mm. and she had along with mr negi trained that team that went to the asia yeah, cups yeah. and that's why yeah. it was based off of that uh, real life story of these girls so she got her daughter to play a character because she was already good in hockey so a lot of these girls are catholic girls from andrews who are just given different names there you go and the hockey is very much in our blood yeah. but but going back to sharuk i think you also one of his better performances yeah, better because he's very subdued much more like no, you know, i think he's really happy in that role maybe yeah. we should look back at his uh, life no, and see a, where he really shines it's yeah. a, it's it's a really well constructed movie yeah. right just in terms of like you know it's got like all the sports things right yeah. hey let's assemble the team yeah. it's got hey, the formula as well what is the women and they have to let's fight lose. against patriarchy let's yeah. get back yeah. 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 it has right. all of these things right so i think it's a uh, really well uh, i watched it two days ago because i had to wash away 83 i've seen the adult me. version of chuck day it rhymes with the same <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, let's see. Go, oh, let's go to the next question. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for more movies. Yes, the show yes, will yes. go. To, to <laughs> I'm looking for the next. Do you do you guys think this karma? This is I'm in relative. This is in reference to the uh, Will Smith uh, Chris Rock yeah, thing. There are yeah. a couple of questions about that. One of them is: Do you guys think it's karma for Serena Williams? She ruined uh, Naomi Osaka's moment by throwing tantrums, and now Will did the same and ruined possible uh, William family moment. Ah. These are two very different events. Uh, Serena Williams that day, how was having a horrible yeah. match all yeah. together, which culminated all, in that point of breakdown. She's not like that otherwise. She was on the decline in her career, and where suddenly she, you know, as we were talking, you can yeah. see your power waning. Your behavior starts getting more questioning. But again, Will Smith is widely not. considered to be the nicest guy around. Really? Right? Yeah, yeah. But still, like, I'm. I was like, so I watched I it because it. I was not in the Oscars every year. Come and go, and like after the past two years, nobody gives a shit really. And yeah. there's something major like Moonlight and Moonlight, the La La Land mixed up happens. Yeah. I stopped watching it when we have this guy in CNBC who works with us who says he's a sound guy, Matosh, and he calls it Oxer. Oxer, ऐसा होता है कि कोई जीतता नहीं. I couldn't take it. Uh, so then I think. I was still in shock that why is Will Smith of all people because he doesn't even cuss in his raps. Right. He's a nice guy in general, family guy. Even after the whole Jada controversy that happened, yeah. he was very open. The, the thing that became famous because of that whole interview was him he's crying. Also, he's like Shah Rukh in the sense where everybody likes him. Yeah, he's not got one demographic. Yeah, his his you kids are both like queer guy. and he's very supportive of them all also. That. So I don't know what happened suddenly. And then I'm still like, is it stage? You know what happened, stage? Naveen? It's impulse. It's yeah. It's I think impulse. We, all of us have, and some point you just have to rein it in. But he was laughing at the beginning of the that's joke. What, Cyrus, the that's the the impulse happened. Thing. Thing. See, we don't know when he looked at his wife. It just she set made him off for a second. Role, yeah. Boom, and he misbehaved. I'm sure three minutes later, after his little uh, uh, the re- well, the rhetoric was not good either. Right. That he threw at him. But this is about three four minutes. He immediately realized he was wrong. Yeah. yeah. But it's a oh, bit no, late. No, no. So he apologized quite. Well, he apologized on Twitter, he was like, immediately like, well, he's not he apologized realized. to Chris. He's not said the name in Instagram. He did. He did. He did. He put a post out this morning. What did he say? I I apologize to Chris. Just But I'm also waiting for an apology from you for taking. Or did he say that? He said that as well. That's that not good enough. He said bro. Chris, you have that, to that, say sorry to me. That's not an apology. Yeah. That's, a, that's a backhanded that's apology. A, yeah, that's not an apology at all. And yeah. again, the... he said sorry to the academy, to the no, people that, who put the show together. Did. That he did. Yeah. Are, fine, but my point is the you you also, really it's, demean uh, Chris. What it's about that? The, it's the mildest of jokes. It's a uh, completely unwarranted. You reaction. know, in the list of jokes that was more offensive, She's, Amy Schumer did the more offensive joke yeah, when she yeah. called Chris Kirsten Dunst a seat filler. Yeah. She made her get up from her seat and asked her husband Jesse Plemons, "What do you you are you married to that seat filler?" Which is like she's then person you're calling yeah, but, Kirsten but, but, Dunst. But no, no, no. But see, they don't take that personally because there's no meaning to it. Yeah. Here, the point is, I've got this hair loss. It troubled my marriage. I dealt with it. It was traumatic for I think me. It was one line that just went. No, no, but we. Don't know between the husband and wife so, what's going on. So there's something yeah, that's yeah. going on there. We, we were talking about this in the morning, yeah. right? But Chris Rock held back because when you are, I think he building, was gobsmacked. Uh, Amit, he no, just no, he was in shock for a minute. Yeah, because he, he was couldn't absolutely see the category properly. He was absolutely shocked. But we, uh, but basically, I think uh, you guys know how the sausage is made in a, a award show like this, yeah. right? There is a room of writers who are sitting and putting jokes together. Yeah, Now, and they go over they, them many times. If they are putting a joke around Will Smith and Jada Pinkett together, that was Smith not put together, in the thing. It was unscripted. Even if it's unscripted, yeah. are you telling me that they don't have sixty jokes about Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith? Yeah, given the they. fact that Will Smith is the presumptive favorite best for best yeah. actor, yeah, yeah. And, and given the fact of what his press tour has been over the last year. Right, the press tour that he's been doing, where he's been talking about all of their personal stuff fairly openly. Yeah, yeah. You can't tell me that yeah, this Ricky is. Ricky Gervais was more bare. Yeah. Ricky Gervais has like the worst kind of like he goes yeah. deep and like he called I mean, Mel, Mel Gibson. Brooks, yeah, uh, Mel, Mel, Mel Gibson. Gibson was like. I mean, really, but then like no one's come to the stage to the whole the whole thing that the whole fallout of this is like it will give so many more idiots yeah. an impetus to get up on Empower stage and do themselves. this. 
and it's not going to be healthy. What about our shows, uh, Naveen? I don't hear you getting punched by some guy. Who, yeah, you know, I'm doing a college show tomorrow. I'm very glad it's on Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> we're, 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 so, we're a helmet. One, one thing performing. to consider here is right that the, the the way that the whole thing was set up, it wasn't like a normal auditorium, right? Mm. Yeah. Will Smith was able to get up there fast. Fast. Yeah. Normally, you can't get up there that fast, right? If you're sitting even in the first or second seat. Yeah. You think it's a setup? Ask Jennifer Lawrence. No, 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 <laughs> she I'm, she fell on thrice while going up on the stage. One second. Now we have a conspiracy yeah. theory. No, no. I'm not saying it was. Not impossible. I'm not saying it was staged. I'm just saying that this is a unique circumstance that also happened no, from the last year. No, I... from the pandemic year, they have been making smaller sets because ah. of the lack of people coming to the Dolby Theater. Correct, right, right. And it's like only select people go out. Right. That's why they took out eight categories from the yeah, main yeah, telecast. Yeah. Also, no, no, I, I agree. I, I get all yeah, that. Right. Yeah. I, I, my my point more than anything else is just that it is a. It was easy to happen. This was a. Perfect storm where this could happen yeah. in a normal Oscar, right? Where you have Amit, a proper Amit, Amit, stage. Supposing you he, have to go up stage protocol. side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he breaks protocol, but they would have thought this is good stuff for us. Uh, nobody expected this to happen. Yeah. But even if there was repartee, there was some confrontation for because 30 seconds. Because they are friends. Great. Yeah, yeah. 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 And yeah. that would have upped it. It was anyway a low key Oscar, all oh. said and done. It would have upped it. But this is not the way you want it up because this no, is. So, uh, Jimmy Kimmel, I heard him on a podcast talking yeah. about the whole thing, and he thought this was a. He thought it was like Stage. completely staged. Yeah. He thought this was a wow, this was good. Yeah. Chris Rock did not react, overreact. Will Smith also kind of made it look real, and he thought it was a bit. No, no, yeah. Then he figured out it wasn't. But right? yeah. he sat down and he said, "Don't take my wife's name out of your effing mouth." The way the, those two lines, yeah. it sounded like he was in Gurgaon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's a typical fight. That's what I, my first tweet was: yeah. "Why is he being a Haryana heckler?" Yeah. Because exactly, yeah, exactly this happened. Exactly. Yeah. Did you feel that? I told you. Remember last yeah, week when we did the story boy, of a guy was slapped here. Misbehaving. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, last question. Judge, let's let's yeah. let's end with one last question, a basketball question, just because. <laughs> okay, Silver, you're not there. So we're going down to the ship here. Yeah. Naveen and I are contributing by saying nothing. Go ahead. No, so, uh, it, it's a question. We agree. <laughs> you agree? All right. Who do you think is going to... Uh, uh, have you followed at all? You, obviously not. Have you followed at all? <laughs> I read clippings here and there because I have no do you idea. have an opinion on who is going to win this year? Well, not the Golden State Warriors. Really, they're second in the West. I'm. I've just been told that they don't have a chance now. Well, they do have a chance. Well, that's what I was told. Okay. In the gym. All right. So the question being asked is with the Eastern Conference. Uh, so with the Eastern Conference, basically the four teams that are at the top are all mm -hmm. tied. Mm -hmm. uh, they all have the same record within a game, like uh, but, but, same number but, but of losses. But it becomes a playoff, right? No, so there are tiebreakers for because all four of them are going into the playoffs, right? But then the question becomes who's one seeded, second seeded, third seeded, fourth seeded, right? Because the first seed plays the eighth seed, the second seed plays but, the seventh but seed. But that's okay because the form book goes out of the window once you go into play, uh, playoffs, right? No, but the form book goes out of the window to an extent, but basically where you are ranked in that eight, right? That depends on your regular season record. So, so who's the favorite? Also? Uh, so uh, Miami Heat was number one for the longest time. Then now I think... Philadelphia was for half a day, then they lost yesterday to Phoenix. So then after that, I think Boston is currently number one. So but they're all tied they're, in the loss column. So there are three or four in the running at the moment. There are four four teams which are tied in the loss column. And remember, you can bet on this uh, podcast and on this podcast alone. <laughs> yeah. It's legal and acceptable. Yeah. Yes, you can. Pay in euros or Russian, what's Russian currency? Pay in Rubles. petrol and Rubles. diesel, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We can't afford that. So yeah. Don't talk about things you can't afford. It's like Hope. foreign holidays, <laughs> petrol, diesel. Yeah. All right, I'm yeah. done. I have nothing else. There goes Sri Lanka. I just saw the last question. You be man. You want to go back to your? Uh, he's got a call. He I do have a call. He the bus. It's eleven oh seven. Roman, I don't know which is people are calling. Say, please say his name properly. <laughs> it's not Roman. It's Milan. <laughs> got the area wrong. I know. Yeah. Just kidding. Okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, Silvery may or may not be back tomorrow. Uh, oh, he's got so a, he's got a family thing. emergency. For so everybody who's wondering if he's been yeah. fired, he's not been fired. Yeah. He has a family emergency, which yeah. is why he's yeah. out of town for <laughs> a day or so. Yeah, Amit can't fire Silvery. There'll be a lot of pushback from people saying that you know everybody deserves a eighth chance. <laughs> <laughs> Nth chance. <laughs> By the way, if there are if there are any fans in Thane, I'm coming to you this weekend to do my show. So Thane, please say it properly. Always say it properly. Yeah. What time? Where? It's uh, it's at the Backspace uh, uh, Studio in Thane. Everybody knows that it's a great place. Uh, and yeah, it's at 6:30 uh, p.m. Is it a Delhi proprietor? The moment they say Backspace <laughs> <laughs> behind house, <laughs> house <laughs> behind. Yeah, it's, it's because it's Thane. It's Backspace of Bombay. Okay. So, oh, boom. Why Thane, go there? Thane These Thane are the joke. people who come to support. They love. You. They love Thane. Okay, what time? What time? I'm from behind the district. This Thane district. Kapal. See, Will Smith should learn. <laughs> That's the nicest people in the world. The people who like their jokes on themselves. Yeah, 6:30 p.m. I, I'll, I'll give that to the Bengalis. Where I was, yeah. uh, I did uh, three or four shows. Bongs love their jokes. They, yeah. they have. Oh, you make fun of them. Others. Everyone is happy. <laughs> really yeah. safe place. Yeah, Will Smith lazy, who yeah. live in Cal for three days yeah. to understand what life's all about. Very disappointed with this. You never left the hotel room. Yeah. Stop lying, Cyrus. <laughs> oh, I didn't. This is on Zoom, but yeah. But just just one last word. I'm just one of the Will Smith. That's all I want to say. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's it's, uh, it's crazy. I can't believe that happened. Yeah.
really. But men in black moods. Fresh chamat of Bel Air. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to take? Uh, wait, I had a. I saw an amazing joke in the morning. Oh boy. Uh, what did uh, what What did Will Smith see on his face when he woke up in the morning? After the Oscars, Mr. Mr. Oh, sorry, what did Chris? Uh, what did Chris Rock see on his face? That's a huge after, difference. I know it is. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not good at that. See, I'm clearly not a comedian. Uh, what did Chris Rock see on his face when he woke up in the morning after the Oscars? Um, Will Smith's hair, fresh prints. Oh, <laughs> someone tweeted pursuit of slappiness. <laughs> that was nice. Awesome. Chalo. Bye, guys. All right then. Good night. Uh, 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 uh,